Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here with another build update, but before I begin, I gotta ask you guys, do you prefer the new YouTube comment system or did you like the way it was before? Anyways, things went a little foobar. Actually, extremely foobar. I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm trying to show you with the radiator, but I was very careless and I didn't double check what I was doing and I used the wrong screws to mount the fans to the radiator. I think I used a Corsair H100i screw or something and it cut right into the radiator fan and it sprung a leak all over the bottom of my case. So ginormous tip is to double check what you're doing and use the screws that come with the radiator. So I hope this radiator isn't beyond repair. I'm trying to use some JB Weld to seal it up. I did change the bottom radiator to a low profile 240 and I changed the hinge mounted radiator to a low profile 360. So there's a little bit of a trade off between volume versus surface area compared to how I had the radiators before. So I'm not sure what the research data is in that regard, whether it's better to have a larger volume or a larger surface area to conduct heat transfer, but either way, I'm happy with this new loop. So I mounted the water blocks onto the graphics card. Let me show you what the old cooler looked like. This is the cooler that I had to remove from the graphics card, and I will have a tutorial up step by step on how to mount the EK water block to the MSI GTX 780 Lightning. My loop has been running leak free for several hours now, and it sounds really quiet too. Um, I didn't have to pour in any soap to bleed it out. Usually I just pour in a few microliters of soap using a syringe, and the surfactant in the soap reduces the surface tension on the bubbles and the effect is near instantaneous. But I'm gonna let this run for several more hours and after all the water from the previous leak has dried up, then I should be able to boot and everything will proceed as normal. Thank you guys for watching.